If you are a science student, the name Albert Easton will really not sound new because he is a very very popular known scientist and an influential person right from the 20th century even up to now. And do you know Albert Easton is one of the best scientists to ever live? Why? Because he has discovered a whole lot of things that are very very useful nowadays for science and technology. And that's one of the major reasons why people think he is one of the smartest people in the world. But what if I disagree with that? This Albert Easton we're talking about was born in Hull in Germany and he has lived up until 76 years. Albert Easton was dyslexic. Dyslexic is a learning disorder that usually occurs to children, especially between the age of one to four or five years or so. But Albert Easton was unable to speak until the age of four years old, even though he was creative. Like, you know, sometimes you can be very, very creative and you are a very knowledgeable person, but you just don't know how to express yourself in words. In fact, the case of dyslexia in Nigeria is about 1.6 million annually but you know in africa if a child does not speak up until four years old he would have received the best beating of his life but that's the mistake some parents make a child does not speak earlier does not mean he is dull or he is not brilliant okay now let's just relate this case to albert easton now one of the best renowned scientists in the whole world that was unable to speak until four years old now where i'm going is that you see abatistin is a very very smart person in a from 20th century and the funniest part is that he's not really really a lover of school then in fact he failed some varieties of subjects when he was in school despite that he is intelligent and can you even believe while he was in school he failed about three subjects which is French, chemistry, and biology. In fact, one of his teachers said to him that you are not going to amount to anything. This is me telling you that most quiet people are not quiet just because they are dull. Yes, the people we think are not even smart just because they don't talk are the smartest people. Honestly, just look around you, look around the world famous smart people around you, world best known inventors, they are usually an introverted person so someone does not talk does not literally means they are dull or they don't really know what they are doing so i made a statement earlier that i would not accept people saying he is one of the smartest scientists in the world you can't use the word probably for albert easton because he's simply smart probability means you are still doubting like you know maybe you know something like it may not you know so i am saying he's not probably one of the smartest people but he is one of the smartest people like i want the word to be affirmative he is one of the smartest people not probably now what makes him one of the smartest scientists in the whole world he has discovered a whole lot of weird things that an ordinary people cannot even discover because most people are, are afraid to think out of the box we are wired to follow the normal rules we are afraid to deviate from rules just because of what people would say but Albert Einstein deviated from rules to innovate a whole lot of things that an ordinary person would have been afraid to do so there is this one of his famous quotes that made me refer to him as the good and indeed he is a good, there is no doubt about that. To continue with my story, Albert Easton's father had uh, owned an electronic shop then and or uh, let's say an electronic company and he usually goes to the company, you know, to look at varieties of his father's electronics. And then he is usually curious, you know, what brought about his smartness is his heart of curiosity. You know, if you want to be smart in this world, you need to be curious about a lot of things. We are born into this world as a novice. We are born into this world unknowledgeable. We don't know anything. We are born into this world with our brain point blank. You are the one that has the ability, that have 
the right to be curious about a lot of things. The more curious you are, the more knowledgeable you are going to be about things. So his father happens to gift him an electronic device, which is a compass. You know, a compass is an electronic device that shows you direction even when you are lost. So his father gave him this compass and he became curious why this compass continues to point to the north. That's what brings about his own curiosity and it made him grill or to be creative because he kept on asking question and question why does this thing have to be like this? Why is this thing like I mean why is this thing like this? Why has this thing always been like this and there is no change? That is an act of curiosity. I know you are really curious about why I refer to him as the God, but I'm still coming back to that. And there is one thing I expected you to be curious about too, and it is that what exactly is he really famous for? Like, what is Albert Easton really, really famous for? Of course, Albert Easton is famous for the theory of relativity, which he developed in the year 1905. He was the one who developed the theory of relativity. You can browse it on Google or any other browser you have on your phone. And this theory has been adopted since then and been used by you know various science and technology schools all over and around the world. But that's not the only thing he's famous for. Of course, he's famous for a whole lot of other inventions he has done. You know, the things we make use of in our daily life, some daily inventions that we can't even do without that has helped a lot of other inventors to invent some other machineries and electronics all over the globe now coming back to the quotes <laughs> these famous quotes that made me you know that has been emphasizing on and the quote is that he said logic will only get you from a to b imagination will get you everywhere there is a whole lot of meaning to this quote and people usually use it in their you know in their words in their speeches and but majority does not even know the real meaning behind this quote the real mystery behind this quote what is behind the quote of logic will get you from a to b but imagination will get you everywhere imagination is you imagining things in your vivid mind picturing things in a virtual way that is not physically you know you are picturing things in an imaginary way you are imagining a lot of a whole lot of scenario that are not in reality. Do you know you can be in Nigeria and just sit down one day and be imagining that you are sitting at a beach in Dubai? You know, <laughs> you are the type that loves to jaye. You see, like you can imagine that you have a lot of hot ladies around you, zipping your drink, living one of the best life you have ever imagined. Though you are not there, but you are just imagining these, these things. Probably you are an optimistic person and you know an optimistic person is something that always expects positivity that always thinks about positivity now you imagining such scenarios it has a whole lot of meaning now do you know you thinking about alone can make you transcend boundaries and think about a whole lot of new ideas the moment you are imagining such things if you are this kind of person that you are a creative thinker you start thinking that what the the moment you come back into your senses you realize that oh did i just imagine that i was in dubai like but this thing can actually happen in real life you start thinking of situations the things you can do that can bring such imagination of yours to reality and that's why they said imagination transcend boundaries you know the boundary you have is that you are in nigeria you have not in fact the person imagining that thing might not even have traveled to ghana Talkless of Cameroon, talkless of Dubai, you know, the imagination is kind of wild. So, you thinking about that can actually make you think of the things you can do that can make such things happen. And sometimes you imagine something that you yourself, you be like, ah, <laughs> this kind of imagination is actually scary. Because the reason why it is scary is that you actually think it is unachievable. But that is a blatant lie. It is achievable because if you walk towards that imagination the moment you picture such scenario the moment you picture that you become the president of nigeria the moment you picture that you become the state counselor that's the moment you will feel like oh this thing can actually come into reality if i can do this or that but logic the reason why logic can never meet imagination is that 
logic is you is you working with an idea of someone that has been in existence for over a long period of time when i say idea an idea can also be a rule a rule that people are afraid to deviate from that is logic logic is you following the normal rules that most people are even afraid to break you know but most absolutely people most exceptional people that are doing well in the world don't normally follow logic logic can only get you from a to b that is within the shortest period of time get you just from a to b but it won't get you far because you are afraid to break boundaries and this is one of the things that is affecting individuals in every part of the world because people are afraid to deviate from rules and the fact is just that if you want to be exceptional if you want to be ahead of others you you need to deviate from rules you need to just stop following the crowd if you want to be ahead of others now think let's think of people that are doing very very well someone like thomas edison thomas edison is the inventor of the light bulb <laughs> this person failed 9999 times before he was successfully able to invent a light bulb now how did he break the rules why i refer to it as breaking of rules is that then i am very very sure that there is nothing like bulb in those times in those days that he think of inventing one probably they might have been using you know bus burning of um probably kerosene or any form of fossil fuels you know it is not electric there is nothing like electric light then but he sat down and think about oh we can't be how long do we have to do this how long do we have to go ahead with this there should be a way to to utilize our resources instead of burning something why can't there be just something that will be you know that will be automatic that will even be brighter you can't compare the brightness of light bulb to burning lantern those days that we still used to burn lantern you can't compare the brightness and in fact the joy in fact i remember uh, in the uh, here in nigeria whenever there is light and you know we usually shout up neighbor because the kind of brightness and the kind of happiness merely seeing light alone the kind of happiness it brings in you in fact probably you want to do some house chores and you're still feeling reluctant oh i'll do it later i'll do it later okay let me use myself as an example whenever i'm feeling reluctant to do sometimes i mean some things probably i want to wash some ditches and i'm just feeling reluctant so i want to wash my clothes and you know things like that immediately there is light i will be automatically geared up like how oh, thank god so immediately there is light i will be energetic to do some things you know uh so then he would have thought about that why can't we think of a new way to manage our resources at the same time reduce cost something that will last longer you know a whole lot of benefits it identified the problems that a whole lot of people did not even think about and it failed 9999 times as an inventor imagine i now used to look at people that complain of not having a good life but if you ask them how many times have you tried the highest response you get will probably be oh, I, I i tried three times i tried three times and the three times i tried i've been you know i've been discouraged my friend told me what not to do it my mom said that's not the way my dad said no i must do what the, the business in left behind and you know my my peer group people are just laughing at me that why we do something you don't have to look at people if you want to do something if you want to be an exceptional person you have to think differently and let me tell you something let me give you an encouraging one at the end of the day when that thing you are trying to do finally becomes successful people will clap for you those people you think they are not encouraging they are laughing at you that's human being that's how we are wired like people will eventually clap for you and they will acknowledge the fact that you think differently but at that point that you are doing such thing you will be discouraged that's the normal way life works that's the normal way life works so at that point you are doing something and you are feeling discouraged don't be discouraged do not be discouraged and you see at the end of the day when that thing eventually becomes successful you are going to meet lots of lots of investors you are going to meet lots of strangers that will applaud you 
In fact, let me tell you the worst of it. In fact, your family members would even be part of the people that would discourage you. At that time, you are trying to do such thing. So if you really, really want to go far in life, stop, stop, stop thinking about oh I, I i i have to do this thing that people have been doing i want to be careful i don't want people to look at me i don't want people to notice me i don't want people to say are you crazy why are you thinking like this no if, if you want to be a social person you have to be weird you know someone that is weird is someone that that does things in a different way that someone that does things in in a manner that is not common that other people does not do it does its things in a very different and you know surprising way that people are usually amazed like what why would someone <laughs> do such a thing so that is why logic can only get you from a to b and imagination can get you anywhere you're just imagining things oh i can do this if someone introduces you to a business and tells you oh you can make so so amount if you invest in so so thing a so so, so particular period of time before you call it a lie even though it might be a lie yeah that's what i used to say of course there are liars everywhere and there is no way we can av uh, avoid that there is no way we can damage from that you will always meet people that are not trustworthy but before you call it a lie you know out of 1000 people let's say 700 of them are liars the 300 um of them can actually be saying the truth but if you generalize that all of them are lying how would you take a step ahead imagine someone that was introduced to your business uh, this business will do something to you at a particular period of time but before you even hear what will end it you already call it a lie without making your findings without even thinking what if this thing is actually possible what if it is actually possible imagine things let people call you crazy yes you are crazy but that does not matter what really matter is what you are thinking about what you are imagining and how to bring such imagination into reality so if you're coming across my channel for the first time kindly drop your comment and what you think about this video and what are the things you have ever imagined in your life and you have been discouraged by friends that oh this thing is not possible kindly share it in the comment section i'll be in the comment section to reply to all your comments and if you found this video interesting give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe